What looks good to you? Don't do that. You know exactly what looks good. Your cans and your toilet. <laughs> what do you say we skip dinner and go straight to dessert? You are... Dessert sounds great! Stan, what are you doing here? Thought I'd treat you kids to dessert. Let's see what we got here. We can eliminate everything with dairy because it gives this guy the green apple splatters. Um, Stan, I'm not so sure that... Oh, right, we shouldn't share forks because of your rampant mouth, VD. So maybe skip dessert and each of us go to our separate homes? May I have a word with you? You said you weren't gonna interfere! I also said I love to spend time with my kids. Look, there's no way I'm letting you ruin my fantasy of Scarlet by having sex with her! Are you challenging me? Are you a challenger? Are you challenging me to make a challenger joke because it's too soon and too sad and I really don't have a good one? I'm taking you home right now and locking you in the attic. Lucky panties, work your sateen magic. on the tush, fellas. Hey. Oh, who, who took my panties? My, my women's panties that, that I was wearing? Has anyone seen my women's panties that I was wearing? Snot! Without those lucky panties, who knows what could happen? Eh, maybe I'm just being silly. Ow! A syringe? Oops, I should be more careful. I need that. I share it with everyone. Welcome, welcome home, Space Lothario. You might have slept with Scarlet, but I'm wearing your robe. Ah! Uh... Hey, that's my pooping robe. I can tell by all the poop on the edges. And while I'm being candid, I did not make the acquaintance of Scarlet's insides. Gah, she wouldn't let you sleep with her, huh? That a girl. Oh, no, she was begging me for it. But I decided it wasn't quite the right setting. Setting? You know your ski chalet fantasy? That's where I want to do it. I want to take your dream girl into your dream setting and plow her in real life. You wouldn't. Oh, but I would. I'm going to do it like this. Eh. And then I'm going to do it like this. Eh. And then it's her turn. A boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Shannon Sharp, sharpening a machete, gonna catch an alien and eat some spaghetti. Hold on, spaghetti. I gotta get that. Shannon Sharp, if you wanna catch the alien, I know where you can find him. Hey, that's my spaghetti. When's the first I'm hearing of it? Oh, man, this is exciting. Gonna catch my first alien. So, uh, what do you think the CIA will do with the alien when you bring it in? Oh, they're gonna dissect him like a frog, like Kermit. That's probably my favorite frog. Hey, if you get a runny nose, I've got napkins in the glove box. Every time I go to Wendy's, I grab a handful of those yellow napkins. Klaus, what's going on? I'm moving into Roger's attic. Stan turned him over to an alien hunter. What? what Yeah, he was super P.O.'d about Roger taking Scarlet away for the weekend. Careful with that box! You hold it precariously and I am distrustful. Thank you, Rico. Gracias, Rico. How's your wife's Looney Tunes jean jacket? Just like in my fantasy. You go on ahead, Stan. I'm just waterproof with my snakeskin boots. I won't be but a minute. Get off of her, you gross gray dwarf! Where's Roger? Dan? He's in the back. What are you doing here? Hey, Stan, look at my boots. The water just beads up. Ah, oh, damn. Scarlet? Hello, Shannon. Wait, you, you two know each other? Of course I know this fine lady. Best alien hunter around. 
But not today, cause that alien is mine. What? No, th there must be some mistake. Oh. There's no mistake. Oh, bone or not now. Yo, nerds, any of you seen an alien? No, we're looking for panties. Oh, we're all looking for stuff. Hey, panty thief! Give me my panties back! Never! I love them so much! Damn it. Anybody got any ideas? I got one. Now, how do we market it? Oh, panties. Oh, panties. Steve, what are you doing? Uh, I accidentally wore your panties the other day. The, the really cute pair with the lace job. When I wore them, I had the best luck of my life. But then Snot stole them. Ah, oh, Snot has them? Yeah. Now I need another pair. I need my luck back. <sighs> Look, Steve, remember on the Smurfs when Wimpy Smurf wasn't feeling very strong and Papa Smurf made him a magic courage potion? Of course. And remember it worked, but then in the end, Papa Smurf admitted it wasn't magic at all? It was just regular old Smurf fairy jam. Classic episode. Steve, those panties weren't lucky. It was the confidence they gave you that made you feel lucky. Hey, and guess what? That confidence is inside you. Oh, thanks, Haley. <laughs> All right, run along now. Worst luck since I lost those panties. Give them back, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Give them to me! <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Those are the luckiest panties in the world. Hunter? That's right. I purposefully ran into you at the coffee shop because I knew you had the alien. Why else would I even give you the time of day? Really? You're a loser. You were a nobody at the academy, and you're a nobody now. And you saw me kill someone, so now I'm going to kill you. Oh, man, you are the worst right now. I can't believe I spent all those years pining after you. Well, allow me to erase that memory. Go ahead, shoot me. You're trash. I have the best wife at home. She's terrific. She's sexy, she's smart, but not very. Lady, my wife blows you away. Damn right I do. Francine? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Wow, she was really dry. Oh, Francine, I'm so sorry for being such a sack of beans, fantasizing over Scarlet. No, oh, it's okay. Sometimes I like to fantasize you're a group of angry construction workers when we're making love. But what woman doesn't look back on her first time with fondness? Mm. Mwah. To think I almost turned Roger into the CIA. Shannon Sharp said they were going to dissect... Help! <gasps> Roger! <laughs> oh! Hey, can you guys put me back together before I die over here? Preach. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, dudes. So when did you realize Scarlet was an alien hunter? Took a little longer than I'd prefer to admit. For a while, I just thought we were having super kinky sex, and then she cut off my face. Sorry for interfering with your love life, pal. Yeah, I'm sorry for going after your fantasy, girl. Come on, let's go home. You guys go ahead. I'm gonna make the Shannon Sharp thing look like a suicide.
Well, it's pretty clear what happened here. This man shot himself, fell against the painting, then took out a knife. Back to the office, boss? Uh-uh. It's movie time. Are you serious? Am I dialing movie phone right now? <laughs>